Hey friends, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah Watts, and I'm going to show you three color palette hacks that you can use in your sewing projects or your art projects. If you're anything like me, you're like, oh my gosh, there are way too many colors to use, and I just shut down. I'm like, I don't even know which one to use. It's not fun anymore. I don't want to make any art, but there's some tricks you can use, and it all has to do with the color wheel. Do you remember this? Boom, boom, from art school or maybe even grade school. Anyway, this beautiful wheel of epic proportions is used by many designers to figure out what colors to use. There's a lot of magic in here. The color wheel. Okay, seriously, let's do something serious. Okay, so whenever I am going to paint something, whether I'm in Photoshop or Procreate, or maybe I just want to pick some fabric colors, I do design fabric for a living. Um, what I'll do is I'll start with one color, and it's just the easiest way to get started whenever you're going to make an art project. So it could be your favorite color, or maybe it's like literal, like maybe you're painting a tree and you wanna use green. Um, or it could just be a color that kind of conveys a mood that you're going for, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use blue for the examples in this video. So now that we have our color chosen, the first color palette trick that I wanna teach you is to try out a monochromatic palette. And it's pretty awesome, it's pretty simple. It's basically just using one color and you're going to use the tints, tones, and shades of that color. So you might be like, what in the world is a tint, tone, and shade? And whenever we're mixing pigment, like with paint, uh, a tint, tone, and shade is adding white, gray, and black to your color, right? So you get a tint when you add white, you get a tone when you add gray, and you get a shade when you add black. Now, whenever we're using the tints, tones, and shades, that's called the value range, right? So you're basically taking the different values of the gray scale and adding it to your color. So your color can have a whole range of value just like the gray scale can. So you can use lighter versions of the color and darker versions of the color and get a full range of contrast. And that's how we get all of these amazing value ranges of colors. It's awesome. So here on the color wheel, we have our blue and this particular color wheel has tones and shades on one side and then it has the tints on the other. So you can see if I use these different values of the color blue in a color palette, it's a safe bet because it's a monochromatic palette. Like how could you go wrong, you know? And with the tints, you know, you could use all of these. And one of the cool things is if you're trying to go for like a softer palette, you could stick to, you know, all of these lighter values. And if you're going for something more rich, then you could go in and use some of these darker values. Okay, so let me show you just a couple of examples of a monochromatic palette in my artwork. So my second tip for using a simple color palette that will make you so happy is to use what they call an analogous palette. An analogous palette is when you use three or more colors next to each other on the color wheel. They're basically all buddies and they sit next to each other and they work really great together. So I could take this, you know, this tone of this green blue and I could take this shade of this blue and I could even go over here to the tints and use you know this violet blue up here but you can use the monochromatic version of each color uh, and choose three colors next to each other on the color wheel and that makes an analogous palette. Analogous means like each other so basically they work because they're like each other. Analogous palettes are magical. One of my favorite things to do is use this blue, green, blue, and blue, green color range, and it feels like a mermaid palette. It's awesome. And check out these cool examples of an analogous palette in my artwork. Okay, so for my last color palette trick to simplify your color choosing is try a complimentary palette. What in the world is a complimentary palette? It's pretty awesome. Basically, on the color wheel, there's a lot of different magical color harmonies that you can use, uh, but one of them is to use a more contrasting color palette, which is when you take a color on one side of the wheel and then you pair it with the one directly across from it. So this is called using the colors complement. This is a complimentary palette. 
this is a complementary palette, and this, and you could just keep going. So purple and yellow are complements of each other, blue and orange are complements of each other, and so on. Uh, there is a caveat with using a complementary palette. When you use these two colors at their fullest saturation, they can be very intense. What's happening is blue looks its brightest and most awesome version of blue when it's next to orange. So basically they're called complements because they make each other look good. But at the same time, they're competing with each other. So you'll notice a lot of different sports teams or restaurants or different brands will use complements because it's very eye-catching and it kind of gets you to be like, whoa, you know. But sometimes in art, it's a little intense. So one of my favorite things to do is to use a monochromatic version of a color and then use the complement as a pop. So instead of using the most saturated version of blue, I'll use all the tints, tones, and shades of blue, and then I'll add a pop of a saturated orange to make that orange really, really shine. And all of those different tints, tones, and shades of the blue will just make it look magic. Okay, and I wanna show you just a couple examples of how I use complements in a palette in my artwork. Blue and orange. So there you have it. You have a monochromatic palette, an analogous palette, and then a complementary palette with a little bit of a twist. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun teaching it. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep growing it. And if you wanna follow me on other places, I have an Instagram called Watts A Lot. I'm on TikTok as Watts A Lot. And I also teach classes at schoolformisfitmakers.com. If you like to sew and play with fabric, I totally just released a big color theory class for fabric lovers, and you can check that out in the link above. And I think that's it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next week. Boom!